What's up, Techies? I've got newer shoulder mount for cameras and DSLRs. This is a pretty cool little product, so I'll just kind of give you a tour around it and kind of give you a couple of different video examples of kind of stabilization and so forth. But the level of difficulty of putting this together wasn't too bad. The instructions were kind of bland, so you kind of have to use your intuitive kind of decision making. But like some of the more difficult areas was putting this part on right here. It wasn't very clear, but it's pretty simple once you get the idea. So let me just save you some trouble. So get these bars put together, put all this, all the individual pieces together, and then just slide it onto these two bars here, and then you're golden. Cap it off with this guy, and you're good to go. So what's pretty neat about this is that it comes with these shades here, and they can move around. Pretty good flexibility. You can move these all the way back if you need to. This one doesn't move too far up, so you're going to have that shade right there, or you can put it all the way down but typically you're going to have it in this kind of direction here. Some of the cool features about this is that you got this big handle here so you can actually kind of hold this and take video clips just like this if you need to. You got some pretty nice sturdy hand grips. These are made of metal that's not plastic. You know, the mostly any of the plastic pieces are going to be like these dials here, a few pieces there, but the main framework is actually metal. So it's a really good high quality build quality. And I like that a lot. Now the DSLR that I have is a Lumix FZ300 and it's not very compatible with this guy but it does work, I can make it work. It has a lot to do with the placement of my mounts right here. I think in some other cases like this is moved in a different spot to where it's going to fit better. But this, I can make it work but I do have to take off my little shutter here and put this on like this here. So let me show you how to do that. As you can see right here, this is your little dial to help you screw it on. So just line it up to where you need it. And all you have to do is just turn it and it kind of locks in place. You don't have to do it too tight because you're going to want to be able to move it around. Part of the problem that I ran into with this camera is this piece right here kind of ends up getting in the way. So what I have to end up doing is kind of put this at an angle to where it kind of puts it out shooting in a different little way here. So let me show you how to move this around. You got some different levers here that kind of loosens it up. And I'm going to move this as close as I can. That's about as close as I can get it. Then I just tighten this in place. And you kind of have to move it here. Now I could have this on, but it tended to kind of get in the way, so I kind of let that just be a little window here. So I'm going to open up my viewfinder. And I'm going to make it like that. Go ahead and turn it on. I kind of leave some space here. Let me move this around right here because you're going to want to be able to zoom in and out if you need to. And I'll show you what I mean. Like this gets kind of long. You can see it go through. So you want to have enough space to where when you zoom out or zoom in, it's not going to bump into that area. As you can see here, like if I were to move this to the sides, you want to make sure that you don't see that little hole right there. So you want to make sure that it's nice and kind of centered. But it's pretty cool that it's got it kind of zoomed in like that. You're able to fit it through that little hole. So once you get it all lined up, all you got to do is match it up on your shoulder and you're pretty much good to go. Okay, so I want to show you what it looks like all mounted up. Again, like I love the handles on this thing. You can hold it just like this. You can move it around. It's going to help you stabilize the video feed and video shots. But it's got a nice padded shoulder pad here that you can actually move this you know, closer to this area if you need it to. But I'm a kind of a taller guy, so I like this. It looks pretty cool. If you want to look like a professional, this is definitely one way that you can do it. But you also have this up here as well. So you can hold it in a, a few different ways, just kind of depends on the kind of stabilization that you need. But you got perfect viewing right here. You know, if you needed to, you can move your finder, your digital viewfinder out a little bit. And the problem, like I saw, like I was telling you with how close this is, is that you're not gonna be able to tilt this around. So you get just pretty much one viewing angle that way. But what's pretty neat is that this right here, I can see it better right here than I could right there. So I like that kind of positioning. You're going to get some pretty cool smooth panning shots. Or if you just need something to just kind of stabilize, it looks pretty neat that way.
One of the things that did not work with this is that this whole section here is pretty much useless to me. There's a rubber band that you basically put around this area right here and you can adjust the zooming right here but it's not really working that well with my camera. So I'm still going to have to kind of reach up in here and use the, the zooming controls on the camera itself. Kind of like this. But I'm not going to be able to use this part. If you're able to use this part, this is a really cool feature because you're able to kind of just keep it going, zoom in and out as you need. It just it doesn't work with my camera. So it's kind of a bummer that it doesn't work with my, my Lumix, but I'm not complaining too much because this still is a very awesome rig. I can get a lot of different stuff with this. Um, just, I don't know, it's just cool to me. <laughs> like, I'm very thankful to have it. So for the rest of the video, I'm just going to kind of give you some panning shots, some stabilization shots. What I'm going to do is have it mounted on me and kind of do a similar shot. Um, not really do any, I'm not going to do anything too fancy, but have it on my shoulder, give you that feed. And then I'm going to take the camera off and try to mimic that same shot with me just holding the camera so you can kind of see the difference. This shot is with the camera on the mount. So I'm just going to kind of do some panning, see how smooth it is. Gotta love some Chewbacca toys, right? Alright, so bring it back, and this is gonna be unedited, so you're gonna get some raw footage here. And I'm just gonna do some <laughs> I'm just gonna do some zooming here so that we can kind of see what it might be like. Alright, so I'm gonna do a a little different kind of pan, go up and down. You have to kind of apologize for my camera. This shot is without the camera mount, so I'm going to just go from right to left. I'm holding the camera, the viewfinder, with my left hand, and then the right hand is on the grip. All right, now I'm going to do a zoom in shot. And now I'm going to go from up to down. Alright, so that's kind of very difficult to do just holding it. I could definitely tell it's like more comfortable with the mount on, but we'll see what the footage looks like in the editing. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the comparison. So this is a pretty cool camera rig. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you want to pick one up for yourself. It's just awesome. I, <laughs> like, I, I, I geeked out when I got this. I was pretty excited. It's a pretty cool rig. You can get a lot of good use out of this, and I'm looking forward to using it in all kinds of different videos coming up in the near future. So you want to subscribe to the channel and see if you can tell any kind of difference when I do some outside shots and so forth. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can see the new video when it comes out. And until then, stay techie. Oh, 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 oh,